Hey guys, so today we're going on a bit of a four wheel drive snow trip up the back of Mount Buffalo. Weather, well it's a bit dark and cloudy, it is forecast snow and a bit of rain. So far so good but we're not up in the mountains yet. We have seen, we've been able to see some snow up in the mountains. Um, it looks like it's quite low so yeah we'll see how we go. We're in Myrtle Fed at the moment just refueling and then we'll hit the road. So we've just turned off onto the Buckland Valley Highway. So these are the mountains, it's looking a bit dreary at the moment. It's definitely raining up there amongst all the snow. So hopefully it clears a little by the time we get up there. Okay, so we've just pulled up and we're about to hit the tracks. Everyone's letting down their tires and if they need to, putting in their hubs. It is definitely raining. Hopefully we don't get this all day. So, yeah. It is a lovely day. It's a lovely day for ducks. So we've got one, two, three, four, five. We've got six vehicles with us. There is too, there's a huge river coming down the side of the hill there. There is a bit of rain, but you can't see it now. So we look like we're almost at the same level as what the snow patches are now. So it shouldn't be too long before we start seeing some ourselves on the side of the road. We found our first little patches of snow along the side of the road. They're only very, very little, but I'm sure they will get much thicker. Yeah, we'll get out when we've got lots of snow. At the moment, there's only just little patches. So we're just putting the car in four-wheel drive. It's starting to get pretty wet and boggy on the track. Hopefully we don't get stuck. It's quite a big hill we've got to go up there. We're currently at 1,100 metres elevation and heading up. That's it. That's it. Is it engaged? Quite a steep hill. Oh god. And that's a little bit help. slippery. <laughs> let it snow, let it snow, let it snow. So yeah. It's still raining. We've got plenty of snow on the track now. Just stop to change drivers. Boys are getting bored and they're doing funny stuff with their fingers. Go with your thumb again. Do you want to It's like double jointed as I am. I've broken my finger. <laughs> yeah, it's not straight down though. Like. Go, boy. Okay, before it was raining, now it That's is fine. actually it's snowing. It's rain and snow. Definitely snowing. Ooh, snow is most definitely getting thicker now. And we are definitely the first ones to take this track today. We're headed towards Mount Selwyn. And from what we can hear on the radio, there's a, a couple of people already no, stuck on Solon and lost their winch. So, see how we go. Is that a tree over the track? Oh shit, we might need the chainsaw. Oh no. And we're going uphill. We won't make it onto that. We have to stop. Oh, shit. So it is definitely snowing. Could catch a snowflake on my tongue right now. And we're needing to use the chainsaw to cut this tree down. I could catch a snowflake on my tongue. <laughs> Cold. You can see footprints in the snow. I hope we're on the actual track right now because you can't really see where we are. Yeah, you can. You can sort of make out. Maybe. 
definitely a snow trip with it snowing. Absolutely. Stopped for a bit of snow play. Jay's already making some snowballs to throw. Ooh. <laughs> My shoes are going to be saturated. Hello there. <laughs> He's trying to catch a snowflake. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll be right. Throw it at him, Ash. Throw it at Jaden. <laughs> <laughs> you missed. <laughs> Blake's kicking back. <laughs> Look, a little snowman. You can hardly really see that it's a snowman, but it is. It's more like well, it's more like a snow bird than a snowman. I missed. Oi. Where did Ashton go? <laughs> 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 Look out, you're going to get it back. <laughs> this is a good idea. <laughs> I don't know that I can see this working. You really need your boots attached to the board. So we're going to start heading off again now. Keep going. Hopefully the snow doesn't get much thicker or we might not be able to get through. We're a little bit stuck. It's a bit slidey. Had to use the max tracks to get around that bit. <laughs> we might need to move on because this snow is actually getting quite thick. We've had our play. Assessing the situation. Our snow is definitely getting thicker and we've got a pretty big descent to go down. I think we'll be right. <laughs> Might not. Oh, getting up might be harder than going down actually. Whoa, damn. that's a pretty big. Um, that's pretty big. A pretty big ascent. I can feel it slipping already. Oh wow, yeah. actually. Well, we'll be able to get up that. <laughs> we'll soon see. The big dam was all right, but uh, I've got to climb out now. It's not as steep as it looked from back there. Maybe not. We'll soon see. As long as we can just keep going and not sort of come to a halt in the middle. I'm gonna keep the tire spinning and flicking the snow out. Well, we're getting it done. Again, How much snow were they expecting? How many centimeters? Um, I think I heard somewhere some, someone say something about the 30 centimeter dumping. Yeah, over the whole weekend. Okay. I think they're gonna get. Oh, there we go. We're done. Hello, right, Jamie. Up you come. There you go. Oh, oh. Just stopped for a lunch break on the side of the track. Oh god, it is still snow. Actually, it's probably more rain than snow now. Hey, it is still half snowing, half raining. So we've got the awning up. See that mud puddle down there? Yeah, I'm gonna get This is our setup. We've got a cooktop on the back. Bit of an awning just in the middle of the track. We have something warm to eat, and then we're off again. We've got hot dogs. I'm just eating lunch. I'm eating in the car. It's snowing a lot heavier now and I'm getting really wet from standing outside because um, where we were cooking isn't under cover. We do have an awning out but it's not where we were actually cooking. So I'm eating my hot dog in the car and then we'll be heading off. We're finished lunch and I really need to go to the toilet and there are no toilets out here. 
So I have my trusty toilet paper and I'm going to go find a bush to go behind or something. Ew. Okay, I found this fallen down tree. This is the perfect spot. We're just putting our awning down now to keep going and oh. it's iced up. All this ice left on it. Can I shut that door, Blake? This is really slippery. I fear that if we, we stop, if not we are going to... If you're not confident, I'll swap you. No, I'm confident. Then why but if we end up stopping, we are stuck. We just need to keep moving. Whoa. It's so slippery. Is this yeah. bad? Ah. Oh, God. Stick to the rats. What? Whoa. So pretty. It's a winter wonderland. Oh, what? He thinks we're going the wrong way. It's really snowing pretty heavy now. It's coming straight at us. So I'm finding it a quiet night actually. And my bumpers keep icing up. down this same track not long ago but we've had to backtrack because we took a wrong turn and the track is noticeably more mushy than what it was before and it's definitely snowing heavier so yeah we're here. we um passed a couple of cars earlier and they said they tried going along this track and they were trying to go up Mount Selma Selwyn and they didn't make it. They reckon we wouldn't make it, so we're not there yet. We'll see how we go. The snow's died down a little bit, although maybe it's just because there's more trees here that it's not coming out as much. It is pretty powdery though. Okay, I think this I think this might be as far as the other guys made it, and to be honest, I'm sunk nearly up to my knees in this powdery snow, so I don't know how far we're gonna make it. Let's get back in. Um, oh yeah, it goes up there. Now this is definitely deep and no one has been up here for sure. So Daniel, mate, you're dragging something off your toe ball. Oh, uh, We're slipping and sliding, it's getting pretty thick. Dragging steering wheel left or right, Daniel. Oh, we're stuck. We have our first victim, everyone! <laughs> side to side, like Alright, we've put the diff locks in and we're Thanks giving it a second go, but it honestly doesn't feel like we are going to get much further. So, we're letting a couple of other cars pass that have mud tyres, so hopefully they can clear a track for us in this deep snow. And then maybe we might be able to get through. We'll see. <laughs> now hopefully, it is quite deep. These are seriously play on snow, aren't we? We are definitely being snow plows. Just a reminder to everyone to keep an eye on your temperature gauge and boot gauge. Shit, and that's quite a deep run. to a halt we're gonna have to winch this guy out and then we're gonna have to try and turn around either that or back out because the snow is just getting too thick it's so powdery and deep so yeah back down we will go this powder this powder is so thick see how far I go under <laughs> oh my god <laughs> <laughs> it's so deep it's like knee deep the snow at least if not deeper <laughs> emptying your boots out jamie hey emptying your boots out 
poor Ashton, he's finding it hard because it's so deep. Alright, so we've pulled out Jamie and Marion got a bit stuck too. And we're now on our way back down the other road that we were on before. So this will be the third time today that we've gone down that track and heading back to the Buckland Highway. So we didn't make it to the top of Mount Selwyn after all. It got really, really thick and powdery. So we were pretty much plowing through all of the fresh powder. So getting back through here, we've got a pretty tight squeeze between two logs either side of the track. And it's quite slippery with the snow. We made it through earlier, but it was pretty tough going actually. There's someone out to guide. Is it Jen? It started snowing again. It did stop for a little while. Either that or maybe we just aren't oh, this covered again. Just the angle of it is the issue. Yeah. I think you've got enough room. <laughs> so there we've got Walsh's track and Mount Selwyn Road. Buffalo Range track down this way. Helipad straight up where Jay then's headed. No one's been down that track by the looks of it. It's completely powdered over with no tracks. And then the other bit of Mount Selwyn right there, which we have already been down twice. We're just waiting to get back in the vehicle. There's a bit of a snowball fight happening here. <laughs> So we've just pulled up at Beverage Station for a bit of a stop. We can hear some dogs in the background. There's a few hunters in the area. Sounds like they might have something up there. Oh. This is all completely overgrown with blackberries. Nothing really left of it, but these old stations and huts look pretty cool. Don't go inside, I think it's made of asbestos. No fireplace. Boys are having a bit of fun and wanted to do a creek crossing. It has been raining, so it is a little bit swelled up compared to usual, I guess. They've already gone over once, so they should be fine getting back. Nah, it's not too bad at all. Doesn't sound too good. Blake's decided he wants to have a go at doing a creek crossing. He's made it. Well done, Blake. And coming back through again. Boys and their toys. He only took the front one off. <laughs> Blake's driving. We're at the end of our day, it is getting dark now, it's 5.30. We're gonna head into Bright for some dinner. Just ask what you think. So we've all just arrived at the Great Alpine Pub in Bright for a bit of a feed to eat to finish off the day. All a bit tired and worn out. And yeah, once we've finished, we'll head home. This is my sticky pork ribs with curly fries, salad, and sour cream. Yum! Um, Jay's got a satay pizza. Blake's just polished off a palmy. Ashy's got his nuggets and chips. And Dan's got a steak burger, I think. Yum, yum. Yummy dinner for a big day in the cold snow. Well, we have 
we're done for the day. We're finished dinner and we're about to head home. We've had a massive, massive day. We had a really early start and I don't know what the time is. Hang on, what is the time? It's quarter past seven now, so it'll be about 8.30 or so by the time we actually get home. And I think we'll all be going straight to bed. Bye.